about to meet Liz Cassidy. We've booked her onto an intensive driving course. Her test is just seven days from now. Formidable challenge, but one that BSM accepted. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. You got her all booked in, then? Yes, what we've done is we've been able to get the test for a week today. And what we recommend is arranging a 25-hour course in this week prior leading up to the test itself. What I'll do now is I'll go and get Paul, your instructor, for you. And I've put all the times and everything down on here. OK? Thank you. OK. How are you feeling, Liz? Nervous? Yeah, a little bit. But they assure me my confidence will grow as I spend a long time in the car each day. It's just a bit soon to have to take my test. Yeah. So there's no time to be lost, as instructor Paul Thornycroft knows. I'm going to start with the foot controls. Okay. The pedal on the right is your accelerator pedal. We're going mm -hmm. to call it the gas pedal for sure. Just seven days to the test, but is an intensive course the right way to learn? It depends on the particular individual and somebody who is a slow learner, somebody who has a, a learning curve which falls fairly quickly, then obviously they don't want to do an intensive course. It must be a lot of pressure to do it all, all in a week. It does have advantages that you don't forget things that you've learned in the first hour and you don't have to recap on, on what you did in, the, in last week's lesson. So there are advantages. Next thing is visuals. Wait a minute, we're going to look in the mirror and look at the road ahead. To make sure Generally it's speaking, it's held that you need one and a half hours for every year of your life. What is the pass rate like? Um, well, the pass rate overall nationally is about 52%. Um, and at the moment, the pass rate on intensive courses, as far as BSM are concerned, is above that national average. Seven-day learner Liz Cassidy now has just 18 hours of tuition left. Instructor Paul Thornycroft gives a progress report. Uh, Lizzie's coming along nicely. Uh, we've had around about seven hours of tuition. Um, we had a fault with the steering, which we're in the process of getting that corrected. Um, otherwise, fine. We've practiced moving away and stopping, and now we're on to the right and left turns. Don't steer to the right. Don't steer to the right. Steer quicker now. Quicker. Keep steering. Keep steering. Liz now has one hour left before her test. Centre now, there's Liz about to set off on her test. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. Instructor Paul Thornycroft can only wait, but time flies with a camera over your shoulder. Liz is due back any minute, and here she comes now. But what's the result? No sign from Liz. The suspense is unbearable. Will Paul and Liz be triumphant? Yes! Can only mean one thing. Congratulations. 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 I'm still shaking. <laughs>